Today, thousands of faculty throughout the California State University system are going on strike. Alexis Govea is live near Fresno State this morning with details. Alexis. Yeah, that strike also includes Fresno State, as you can see here right behind me. So the California Faculty Association is still without a contract after asking for a 12% raise. The university system is offering 5% over the next three years. The CSU's vice chancellor says the faculty's demands would cost the university system a lot more than just money. The CSU currently spends about 75% of its operating budget on compensation. If we were to agree to the increases that these unions are demanding, we would have to make severe cuts to programs. We would have to lay off employees. This would jeopardize our educational mission and cause hardship to many employees. The faculty union's compensation demands would cost CSU approximately $380 million in the first year alone and every year after that. This is $150 million more than the CSU's entire funding increase from the state of California in 23-24. Some students say they've already felt the pain of cutbacks. Robert Culpepper, a senior at Fresno State, says he does not support the strike. Professors told him that they stopped accepting as many students as previous semesters because of pay. Now he says his graduation date is pushed back because he didn't get into the classes he needed. To me, as a student, I feel like I'm being overcharged and ripped off by a system that will not help the students. They will help the professors if they strike long enough, but they won't help us as students, the ones who are actually paying out of pocket. Some instructors say that faculty working conditions are student learning conditions and that they want to protect both. Fresno State sent out a message calling on faculty to fill out a strike registration form even if they cannot pick it. The strike is expected to last all week. A CSU professor tells me if an agreement between CFA and CSU is reached, well then the strike can be called off. Picketing started within this hour, or actually we're already in the 8 o'clock hour. It started within the 7 o'clock hour, and it will be going on every day this week from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Picketers have their setup here at Shaw and Maple. That area will serve as the headquarters, but professors will be seen at multiple places around the school. John Bynan, a CSU professor who also is the chapter president of the California Faculty Association, tells me that some of the other areas include entrances from Barstow, Cedar, and Shaw. And right now, again, we are at the corner of Shaw and Maple here this morning, the headquarters. Okay, John, we have plenty of questions. We are running out of time, but I want to get a few in this morning. Remind our viewers why you guys are out here. So we are out here to fight for a fair contract. We want a fair contract for ourselves, for our members, because we are facilitating the core mission of the CSU. We're the ones in the classroom. We're the ones providing the instruction. Without us, education doesn't happen, and we're not being valued. And now, John, I have a question regarding the students. So for those that were affected by classes, what is that going to look like next week? Yeah, so we are withholding our labor, and our students understand that. We've been able to communicate with them. On uh, Thursday, I met with my students for the first time. And when I asked them, what questions do you have and, and what concerns do you have? They said, I want to know how I can support you. And that was really moving to me. But my message to students is support your faculty now so that we can get a fair contract and we can get back to getting in the classroom, doing the instruction, grading your assignments, all of those things, right? That's what we want to do. And now there was this rally that you've been telling me about, right? It's going to be taking yeah. place today. You've been talking to me about it off air. Tell our viewers all about that. Sure. So from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. today, right here at this intersection at Shaw and Maple, we're going to have a rally. We're going to have speakers that represent the community, students, faculty, staff, all uh, sharing why they think this is so important. And so, uh, yeah, that's going to be happening. We'll have music. There's going to be poetry. It's going to be a good time. 
We're out here, rain or shine, we're here on the picket line. Yeah, speaking of that rain, it's coming down very hard. Yeah, it's yeah. been keeping me a little wet. Yeah, but yeah. as you mentioned, y'all are going to be out here. We're out here yeah. because it's that important. Wow. Yeah. Anything else that you think is, speaking of important, that our viewers should know about this morning? Well, I just want to say that for those who are um, confused about, you know, why a strike, why is this happening? I think you mentioned it earlier, but faculty working conditions are student learning conditions. If we can't thrive, our students can't thrive. We understand that, our students understand that. We need administration to understand that. And you mentioned students. We're actually gonna be hearing from some students in the nine o'clock hour, so stick with us all morning long here on Great Day. Reporting live near Fresno State, I'm Alexis Govea, Fox 26 News.